Nuclear factor kappa b, abbreviated NF kappa b, was first described as a transcription factor that regulates the expression of the kappa light chain of immunoglobulins. The family of NF kappa b factors comprises five members. These members combine to form different dimers that regulate the transcription of target genes. The transcription of NF kappa B target genes is induced by a variety of cell membrane receptors. We distinguish two different pathways that lead to the activation of NF kappa B transcription factors. First, we see here the canonical pathway. The canonical pathway is activated by different cell membrane receptors involved in inflammatory reactions. Here, the tumor necrosis factor receptor 1 is depicted as the starting point of the signaling cascade. TNF-alpha binds to three receptor monomers. The receptor monomers contain what are called death domains, or DD for short. These death domains interact with those of other proteins. Upon trimerization of the receptor monomers, the death domains of the receptor bind the TNF receptor-associated protein with a death domain that is abbreviated TRAD, and the receptor interacting protein 1, or RIP1. TRAD provides a platform for the recruitment of an adapter protein named FAS receptor-associated death domain, abbreviated FAD. Next, TRAF2 and cellular inhibitors of apoptosis, or CAIP1, and CAIP2 are recruited to the complex. The exact composition of the complex has yet to be established. Once the membrane receptor complex is completed, we reach the core of NF-kappa-B pathway regulation. In the absence of an external stimulus, NF-kappa-B dimers are held in an inactivated state in the cytoplasm. The example here shows the P50-P65 dimer, the major NF-kappa-B dimer of the canonical pathway. The dimer associates with an inhibitory protein, which prevents the NF-kappa-B dimer from entering the nucleus. The family of NF-kappa B inhibitors comprises eight proteins. I kappa B alpha and I kappa B beta being expressed ubiquitously. Here, the inhibitor I kappa B alpha is shown. Before NF kappa B dimers can enter the nucleus and bind to DNA, the factors have to be freed from I kappa B binding. This is initiated by phosphorylation of serine residues in an amino acid sequence motif conserved in I kappa B proteins, which is known as the destruction box. The phosphorylation is mediated by a kinase integrated in a trimeric complex of I kappa B kinases, IKK for short. In the canonical pathway, the complex of I kappa B kinases consists of I kappa B kinase alpha, beta, and gamma. I kappa B kinase gamma is also known as NF kappa B essential modulator or NEMO. I kappa B kinase beta or IKK beta phosphorylates the serine residues in the destruction box of I kappa B, in the example here, I kappa B alpha. The canonical NF kappa B pathway strictly depends on NEMO, whereas the alternative pathway does not. The IKK complex is activated after the binding proteins have been associated with the receptor. In this example, the TNF-alpha receptor 1. The phosphorylated serine residues in the destruction box of I kappa B alpha associate with the beta TRCP protein, which initiates the ubiquitination of I kappa B alpha. As a consequence, the ubiquitinated I kappa B alpha protein is directed to the cytosolic proteasome and degraded. In this way, the NF-kappa dimer is free to enter the nucleus, to bind to kappa B binding sites in the DNA, and to regulate genes that antagonize apoptosis.